Hey guys, welcome back to Trevor's Woodshop. It's been, I don't know, a couple, three months maybe since I've done a video. And uh, the reason why is because I've been redoing all the walls and the ceiling and everything in the shop and I figured while I was at it, I might as well completely redo the whole thing and make it set up so that everything's quick and easy for me to be able to use and get to. And uh, I figured since I've gone ahead and done that, I figured maybe it's time now for a shop tour. So. Uh, Welcome to Trevor's Wood Shop, and here's my quick little shop tour. Alright, uh, I guess since we're already at the bench, I might as well start right here, right? Um, got my wrenches and all that fun stuff hanging up here. It makes it a little easier for me to be able to get to them. I mean, I still do a bit of work on cars and stuff here and there, so. Uh, got my wood shop sign, and then my summer's woodworking bird houses. I didn't want to hang them up outside, so I figured why not just hang them up in here. They look good in here anyway, so. Um, I keep my high volume, low pressure spray gun real close by. That's more or less what I use for my uh, my clear coating and staining and all that fun stuff. And uh, you know, hangs up there nice and quick. Uh, keep my drills and chargers and stuff really close to the bench. I've got my plug in and stuff right there. Um, I got a light that lights up underneath here, but with the camera and stuff, it kind of throws things off a little bit, so I don't bother. Um, I keep an old cutting board here on the bench when I'm doing my scroll saw projects and stuff. Some of the smaller ones, what I do is uh, I just use a hand drill and instead of drilling a whole bunch of holes into this poor beat up old bench of mine already, I just uh, I drill them on this. As far as everything that's in here, it's more or less just a huge mess right now. I haven't gone through any of it yet at all. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the bench. I mean, it's pretty standard. Alrighty, just off to the, I guess it'd be your guys' left, um, of my other bench, I have another bench. Um, once again, there's you know, not much in it right now. I'm st still kind of getting stuff back out of boxes and stuff, from, you know, packing everything up and moving it all around. Uh, got my lathe tools and stuff hanging up here. I got my little uh, sharpener and stuff that I can pull down and sit on the bench. Uh, a few screwdrivers and stuff, you know, my usual little parts bins and stuff with screws and knickknacks and all that fun stuff in it. Uh, everybody's got to have a beer fridge, right? And some tunes, of course, when uh, when we're not doing YouTube. Uh, got a construction heater just up above my head here. Um, it's kind of noisy and stuff in the winter, so I don't use it a whole lot, but it does produce a lot of heat. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for here. Um, once again, it's kind of standard, I guess. Alrighty. And just out around the corner, of, just off of my other bench, I've got my uh, my rigid 12-inch sliding compound miter saw. Uh, got it on its own little cart. You know, it was uh, mainly just made out of scrap leftovers that uh, was left over from doing the ceilings and the walls. and figured why not utilize whatever it is I had. Um, I got this probably four months ago. I traded it for an older style Craftsman uh, scroll saw and an older Delta miter saw. Buddy was looking to uh, downgrade and I was looking to majorly upgrade. So we kind of came to the terms where, you know, sat around over a couple beer and I guess we both kind of convinced one another into trading. So sure enough, here it is. The thing's just like new and Works like a champ, so wheel that back on in. Keep my shop back and stuff underneath. Um, I'm going to try have everything set up so everything's just kind of plugged into it and it's good to go. So, um, oh, I guess my old buddy here. Um, I guess Dad got him probably, I don't know, 25, 26 years ago. And uh, he was a big old boy, so I figured that uh, why not hang him up here in the shop? And for the safety sallies out there, this is just a little pelican that I had when I was a little kid and I figured it looked cool hanging there. It's not loaded, it's, you know. Um, anyways, back onto the farm. Um, what I typically heat my shop with in the winter is a pellet stove. Uh, it's a 60,000 BTU. And for a 24 by 24 garage like this is on the inside, 
Before it wasn't even fully, well it was fully insulated, but it wasn't sheathed or anything for the walls. And it'd be no trouble to keep it 22, 25 degrees in here all winter long. Um, a bag of pallets last me probably two days and cost about five bucks. So you can't really beat that either. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it for here. Alrighty, now we're getting into the fun stuff, I guess for me anyways. Um, my DeWalt 788 scroll saw came with the stand and the light, which I uh, absolutely love. Awesome machine. Um, I'm not here to tell you what to buy though. Um, for me, it works really well. It's nice and smooth. It's quiet. Um, it was a huge upgrade from what I had before. So uh, I'm going to stick with it for many years to come. And if something ever happens to it, I'm sure I'll get myself another one. So um, up here, um, I guess it is kind of crazy to say it, but my lathe is hanging on my wall. Um, it's not a very big lathe. It was only, I think it's a 16 or 17 inch between centers. It, it, it wasn't very big. Um, but I did take the backing plate off of it and built my own extension bed and everything for it. If anybody wants to know a little bit more about it, you know, send me a comment or whatever and I'll, I'll answer you back. And if you want me to do another video on maybe even how it is I did this one, no problem, just let me know. Here I keep my scroll saw blades and uh, you know, some templates and stencils and all that fun stuff. This was just a little cabinet that I found in the garbage somewhere. Holds my drill bits and stuff here for my drill press, which is sitting here. And I'm slowly getting a, a table built for it, I guess. One of these days I'll have it done. And over here, just my ladders. Uh, I'm going to eventually have them hanging up here on the ceiling, sitting in a little jig where I can easily get to them to be able to get to the crawl space up top. So. So yeah, that pretty much concludes this corner. And continuing on around, I've got uh, got my little belt sander. It's just a little four inch by 36 with a little uh, six inch disc on it. Works fine for everything I'm gonna be doing, I guess. Um, then I've got my 14 inch Craftsman Pro bandsaw. Uh, I got it hooked up to the dust collection, which really doesn't work that well for their factory setup. I'm going to come up with something a little bit different, hopefully. I got this at a sweet deal. Uh, I answered a, uh, an ad on Kijiji, which uh, Craigslist, I guess, in the States. And the old guy that had it wanted $40 for it. And when I got there, I tried to tell him what it was really worth. But once he seen a few pictures of the stuff that I was doing, and realized that, you know, it's something that I'm really going to be using. He, uh, I tried to hand him his $40 and, and get away with it, but I mean, he, he ended up handing me back like 10 extra dollars back cash out of his own pocket. So I only paid $30 for the thing. I mean, it's, you know, really good shape. It's a little bit dusty, but I mean, other than that, I mean, the tires were in really good shape. He gave me three or four uh, saw blades and stuff with it. Uh, he hardly ever used it. It was more or less just for uh, cutting up carving stuff, I guess, before he, uh, he'd kind of block it out with this and then do his hand carving from there. So, uh, Just on the opposite side of that, I've got my router table, which once again, I used leftover USB that was kicking around. And I've got my you know original case and stuff that it came in. I've got my Craig jig and stuff sitting in here. My rudder bits, I'll, I'll add a lot more to this, some doors and drawers and all that fun stuff later on. But for now, I mean, it's on casters, it's easy to move, I can pull it in and out. Um, works perfect for what it is I need it to do, and it kind of fills up this hole that's over here anyway, so. So yeah, that's pretty much it for there. Alrighty. So, just off to the other side of my router. Sorry guys, I got my camera in my hands here. I, it's kind of hard to be able to get in behind there with a tripod and everything to show you the, the dust collection system and how it is I have it set up. But on the far end of my table, closer to my wall, I've got my dust collection teed off where it goes, like I said before, over to my bandsaw. And then it kind of runs along the floor here and goes up to my rigid R4512 table saw, which by the way, I really do love. Um, works really well. It's fairly smooth. It's quiet. 
Um, I've got it dialed into right around two thousandths of an inch out, which is more than enough for me. That's perfect. Works fine. And I've built my own little uh, side wing for it here. Got my logo and everything on there. And then we'll go over here to the uh, my assembly table. This was, at one point in time, a laundry table at a local hospital. So a friend of mine had brought it home, and the reason why he thought that I might like to be able to use it is because, sorry, I'm getting a glare there. Um, it's got the, uh, the inches and centimeters and all that fun stuff marked right underneath glass. So if I do need to measure something quick or a pattern or anything paper, it's, you know, lay it down, cut it off with your X-Acto knife, and you're good to go. Um, put some drawers in. Just some old ones I had kicking around. Um, recently traded some extra parts and pieces and stuff that I had in a wood lathe with Jason again, and he ended up giving me his little compressor, which I'm going to set underneath my table here. And I'm going to run some airline all around the table, and that way there I can use my finished nail guns and all that fun stuff under here without having to go over to my big one, which we'll get to later on. There's my new nail gun set there, which, like like I was saying earlier, I'm going to set it up so that everything is under here, so. Alrighty, we're back on the tripod. Sorry about all the jiggliness there, fellas. Anyways, uh, up here, I've got a couple little corner shelves that I threw up. And I hang my Craig jig close by, which is something I use all the time. Uh, got my saw horses, which I can pull out to the side and I'm doing a really big project and the table can't handle it or it's going to be in the way of me doing any uh, sawing or whatever with the table saw. Other than that, that's pretty much three quarters of the way around here. So let's, uh, let's head on over to the compressor side and I'll, I'll show you all that fun stuff and we'll conclude this up. All right, um, over here is more of my metalworking stuff, I guess. Uh, I do have my air compressor over here, and yes, it is hanging off my wall. And to answer any possible questions that may come up later on, no, nothing else does vibrate off the wall. Um, I've got it rubber mounted in the front and in the back, along with it being screwed down to a uh, three-quarter inch sheet of plywood. Everything is into the studs, so really nothing does move or vibrate that bad. Uh, I've got my welding helmets and stuff hanging here. I have my Lincoln MIG Pack 140. Uh, I used to use an awful lot. Um, I used to be a welder before I started into the woodworking fun. And it's kind of hard to get back to the metal, I guess, after you've been working with wood for the last three or four years. So, got my air hose reel. Uh, it's one of the self reel backups. It's, uh, it's okay. It's, if I had to go buy another one, I probably wouldn't buy this one. As far as the mechanism goes, it seems to work fine, but the hose is something that needs to be replaced because in the winter it really gets cold and it stiffens up so bad it won't stay rolled up. So, and to replace it is, I don't know, I might as well just think of something else. Maybe have it coming out of the ceiling or something somewhere, kind of go from there. My bench grinder, it's sitting on a smokestack from a tractor trailer and a chrome wheel off an old doom buggy that I used to have. My creeper is something that's never been used. My cousin gave it to me a few years ago, and he died shortly after in a car accident. So it's one of those mementos, reminders. I guess he's always kind of hanging out here. So that'll never get used. So, so yeah, that's pretty much my welder side and my compressor side. over here. Uh, I've got my mechanics toolbox full of more of uh, mechanics tools, I guess, than anything else. Keep all my finishes and paste wax and glues and spray adhesives and all that fun stuff up here. I've got my, uh, my really dusty fire extinguisher. 
and uh, keep my remote control for my air cleaner, which I'll show you in a couple minutes. I, I should have showed you while we were over at the table saw, but it's hanging just up above my table saw. So, so yeah, I got uh, got my business card holder and stuff here for when people come in. Uh, also got my friend Jason McGinn to, uh, sitting here. He gave me a bunch midwinter, I think it was, along with one of his uh, business card holders slash cell phone holders, I guess. So mine usually stays in there also. So. So yeah, I'll take you over and show you the, uh, the air cleaner and how it is I plug in my table saw and all that fun stuff, and we'll go from there. All right, this pretty much concludes it, I guess. Um, it's my King Canada air cleaner. Yeah, it just sits directly above my table saw to be able to catch any of the airborne dust whatsoever, hopefully. Uh, it's whisper quiet. It was one another, it was another one of those Kijiji Craigslist kind of finds. Um, picked it up dirt cheap. I think it was like uh, 75, 80 bucks or something like that. Came with the remote control, you know. Uh, and as far as my table saw goes, you didn't see any extension cords or wires or anything kicking around to be able to trip over. And the reason why is because I have, sorry for the light in the face, everybody, but I've got one of these. And it just unclips from my trouble head. I can bring it down and off to the side. Table saw plugs in, it's nice and secure. And away it goes. Easy to hook back up. Easy to hang back up, it's completely out of the way. Never have to worry about having the trip hazard. So yeah, here we are, we're all finished up. Um, there's not really a whole lot to say. Like I was saying earlier, it's a 24 by 24 standard size garage. I got one 16 foot door. And I tried to utilize as much space as completely possible. I'm still doing a lot of upgrades yet to go. But at the same time, I figured it's clean enough and I know something's gonna wind up happening that I'm gonna wind up doing something and it's gonna be a huge mess and I'm not gonna be able to do this shop tour. So I figured why not just go ahead and do it now and then Maybe as I go along and can think of little trinkets and stuff as I'm putting it out, maybe I'll do a quick video on those and show you those as well. Um, as always, um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, you know, throw the old thumbs down. Either way is fine. Um, leave me a comment. Please subscribe. And uh, till the next time, we'll see you later. Thanks.